chug a whole bottle of whiskey to myself and cry out Help, I'll smoke a whole pack of cigarettes and wonder why I smell I guess I still got this work on I guess I still got things to from I am a mess but I'll happily own it I wear a dress with converse and a jean jacket city but everything will work out I guess I still got this work on I guess I still got things in front I am a mess but I'll happily own it I wear a dress with depression sometimes I make really questionable decisions I'm stuck in between my soul and personality maybe I'm addicted to chaos cause it's all I've ever seen I guess I still got these to work on I guess I still got things to heal from. I am a mess, but I'll happily own it. I wear a dress with converse and a jean jacket. Trip, 
perpetually thoughts feed into thoughts running down these walls picking with the anxiety ironically I hold the But I believe that we can train our brains to think differently. Oh, my mind, you can be. emotions is what I dread. Oh, I'm going to be free of all these emotions barricading me. Does it get exhausting, I must ask? Do you ever tell the truth? Or is the truth a lie too? Satisfaction filled from your next victim. Everyone trapped around your finger, spider in your web of design, catching up. When you look in the mirror, why do you see? Is it your underlying insecurities? Or is it the many people you try to be? Do y'all even know? Everyone's wrapped around.
is meant to be. Who are you? Who are you? Do you even Starting to realize that most people are fucking assholes. It's taken me a lot to get where I am now. I've been to hell and back, but not her wise. I kept moving forward. I packed on my shirt, left my own town. Behind. So, if my happiness bothers you, you can kindly go fuck yourself. Don't project your insecurities, jealousy, negativity onto me. In a world where everyone's trying. You could try to be a little kinder because love is free. Love is free. Love is free, free, free. I never claim to be perfect. decide to change so if my happiness bothers you you can kindly go fuck yourself don't project your insecurities jealousy and negativity onto Try to be a little kinder because love is free. Love is free. Love is free, free, free. So please get off your pedestal and don't judge someone. took to get where they're at. So if happiness bothers you, you should go fuck yourself. Please go to the sex store and pick out a dildo in your favorite color. Mine's pink. Shove it up your ass or whatever hole you like to put it in. Welcome to the Pop Off Podcast. I'm Derek. And I'm Matt. And we're here with Tawny and Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones. He's a little shy. We're here at the spooky season. Um, 
Tawny, as you see, is a as an individual artist, so I think her vibe is like a witchy, soulful, Janis Joplin type of uh, thing there. You have a powerful voice. Hell yeah, thank you. I love Janis. Great. I love her. <laughs> I really liked Mr. Bones' style. He sits in front of the drum set and doesn't play at all, which I uh, I really dug. I thought that was a cool vibe and you know a, a nice thing to bring on to the show. Top, top ten, one of the top ten drummers that we've had here. Definitely going to feature him in the drum battle segment. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, and I, the song I really liked too was the last one that you played. That was pretty funny. I think we're all happy that you played that for us. What was your inspiration with that? Uh, do, how did you come across that those lyrics? I grew up in Citrus County. S it's a small town type of vibe. Three high schools. Everyone knows everyone. I was in a long-term relationship. It wasn't the greatest, it was very unhealthy. So I decided to leave and move to Orlando to go back to school at UCF and study uh, music and just you know pursue my dreams in Orlando and just kind of get away from all that. But I started to notice um, you know, how people would react to my happiness and like my personality. And I genuinely, like, this is the happiest I've ever been in my life. And I was in, like, such a, a dark space, like, before I left. And so, and I've been through so much. And it's just, like, I just don't really let, like, little things bother me anymore just because of how much I've been through. So, like, I don't know. It, it reminds me of your typical Central Florida story. You know, like, people who aren't from here have this misconception of what Florida is like. It's like the beaches and the partying. But as soon as you get like, you know, half you hour, one hour, hour inland, from the dude, beach. It's a different world. Yep. Yeah. So that makes sense, you know. And then, then you go to the cities. You go to Orlando. And, I, you know, we have a lot of great Orlando bands that are cool people. Yeah. I didn't really know, like, what love or, like, self-love was until I left a place that I was, like, familiar with my whole life. So it was – it was a trip. So, yeah, that's what that song is about. It's just about basically saying fuck off to anyone who doesn't support me and doesn't love me. And, like, you know, like, I, you, you're just not allowed in my life, like, if you want to bring me down. Like, I don't want that. And I'm sorry if my happiness offends you, but, like, I'm genuinely happy. And, like, I just feel like people who project their, like, negative emotions onto other people, like, they're unhappy inside. And There's a lot know, of projection going around these days. Yeah. Just in general. I assume all <laughs> your songs, though, are from your like personal experiences and that, that type of thing. Yeah, all of my music is from personal experiences. Um, I have three singles out, and all of them like I wrote in my early 20s. And um, Overthinking, the first one I played on my guitar, that one's on Spotify. And that is like about, you know, struggling with anxiety and depression and how like you really hold yourself back by the way you think and your fears, but you can change it. Like it's really just neural pathways in your brain. And I did a lot of internal work to get to where I am now. And I'm just like really thankful for myself and my music and just like my, my support system. My mom over there, she's an OG. But yeah, you know, mom's behind the cameras right now. Shout yeah. out to mom. <laughs> Somebody's got to do that yeah. long drive. The seven sons came with their dads, so yeah, no, we definitely support. We 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 get excited when we see parents like supporting the artists. Like we remember when Derek and I were first getting out playing. Like the first couple shows we went to it was like our immediate family, like our folks that came out, and like aunts and uncles and a few friends. So like it's it's cool to like do it and have that support system because we talk to so many other people and they're like, my kids hate my music, my parents hate my music. So like it's no. yeah, it, it, it's wild. So it, it's very fortunate that you have that with you you do have a great strong voice and your music is very personal i was checking out the guitar too like especially the way the lights were strobing it had some really cool effects i feel like this is a personal personalized guitar oh yeah my dad he gifted me this guitar when i was like 12 and it was white like my dad saying is white is always right like he would never have anything colorful in his house like all his plates like and i'm like dad come on like Easy let me paint clean. the guitar and like i was a scene kid okay i have a mustache tattoo like that's how much of a scene kid i was like tawny tie-dye <laughs> i've had every single hair color so that's what i wanted to do when i was a scene kid this is what i envisioned and then once i was an adult i'm like Dad, I'm an adult. You can't do anything about it now. <laughs> so I painted it. I used acrylic paint, um, and I just, like, flicked it with a brush, 
and I like put uh, tape on it to protect the electronics, and then I just used a clear coat of spray paint afterwards. And then obviously I had to add glitter. Does this have like active pickups on it or something? I mean, because it sounded good. You just plug in straight in, playing it acoustically. Typically, I'm used to kids playing like math rock through a bunch of pedals on on these types of guitars. I'm not sure, honestly. Yeah. I think it does have a pickup, right? Yeah, it sounded great. Well, like Derek said, it was cool that you were able to plug directly into our mixer and get a good tone out of it. I love the fact that you opened with the song on the ukulele, too. Like, we've never had a solo musician come out and do two separate instruments. So that was a really cool opener that you performed. Really enjoyed the music you were playing. Hell yeah, thank you. So you said you got three songs out, and they're available on, like, every streaming service, Spotify, Apple, the whole nine yards? Yes, sir. I have um, my first song called Overthinking. And then I have Growing, which is actually on ukulele. And then my third song is called Healing. Um, I actually did my own music videos for all of them, too, with the help of my mom with angles that I couldn't get with my tripod. And then I edited them on Adobe Premiere Pro. They're all on YouTube. Um, It's so funny. The first one I filmed in my cousin's house. The second one I filmed in California. Um, and then the third one I filmed in Tennessee, but my second one, like I had my whole spiritual awakening in California. So like I, like I plotted, like I picked all these places to film. Like there's, cause all of them are so special to me. Like during that time when I wrote this song. So there's music that I, that I can play and there's music that I like to listen to and just talking to you. What are some of the coolest festivals or like raves or things going on i mean in florida i guess but in general i mean um do you know any of those i'm literally gonna go to halloween on the 23rd i got wednesday early passes <laughs> like i'm so excited it's a five-day festival um it officially starts on thursday but tash sultana sublime and Closy are playing and those are um the three artists that i'm really really excited to see but it's just a magical beautiful place it's like in Swanee and they have so much art installations and they have art workshops and like everyone dresses up and everyone is so nice and it's it's my favorite festival that I've been to because I've been to EDC, I've been to Soul Fest, I've been to Forbidden Kingdom and um, this one is definitely hands down my favorite. It is a camping festival though so you gotta you gotta get a little wood. you're going all five days? Oh yeah. Nice. I'm so you're ready. Oh That's yeah awesome. I'm so ready. I'm gonna be a sexy Bob Ross. <laughs> happy little tree. Okay. Next to a happy little lake. Yeah, Is it right. a happy little festival there? Yeah. Check it out on my TikTok. I already made videos of me in the costume. And it's my new profile picture. I just had to. Like Okay, and speaking of social media, where's the best place and best way for people to engage with you? What do, what do they gotta look up? How do they find you? Um, my Instagram is Tawny D. Domenico. That's a mouthful, but it's my first and last name. It's T A W N E E D I D O M E N I C O. And then I'm Tawny Topia on TikTok. And um, you can just look up Tawny D. Domenico on YouTube for my music videos. It's real cool to see that you made your own music videos. Derek and I kind of went through the same thing. We recorded our own music. And the first video we shot was actually in this house um, for One Big Meal like a few years ago. So we always get hype when we find like musicians that kind of like grassroots it and did it themselves. Because we talked to so many people and they're like, dude, we'd love to do a video, but like we just can't do it. I'm like, you have a smartphone. Like it, it's on YouTube. Like not that many people are going to see it. Like just like put something out there and like get some feedback and, you know, keep keep at it and it'll get better over time. And then, like, thank God for Premiere Pro. That's, like, how we edit this whole show. Like, that is a godsend for, like, getting media out there. Yeah, I love Adobe. I used to have a YouTube channel when I was a kid, and it was called Webkin's Rock 66. And my parents were divorced, so, I'd, like, when I'd go to my dad's house, I'd make videos of my Webkin's <laughs> and, like, Littlest Pet Shops. And so that's where I started editing around that age, and then it just, like, carried on with me um you know into adulthood so it was really fun like i love editing like music videos like me and my friends used to do it to like kesha songs back in the day <laughs> so yeah i appreciate you coming here and, and like i said we're in the same vein helping independent artists and and the diy and the whole music scene so yeah i think that's i think that's it unless you got anything else I think that's it. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Well, thanks for making the drive in. You sounded great. Appreciate the performance and uh, appreciate everyone for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Uh.
<laughs> Bye.